women who are super, super confident, where do you get your confidence from? Okay, so about four years ago when I was 21, I nearly died in an, in an accident and it left me paralyzed. And in that moment when I literally nearly died, I had this realization that I wasn't thinking about how I looked in pictures. I wasn't thinking about counting my calories. I wasn't thinking about how my arms looked when I posed. I was thinking about my friends, my family, the people that I love and all the things that I hadn't said and that I hadn't done. I made a promise to myself that when I get up and out of this hospital bed, I'm gonna live every day like the badass queen that I am. And when it is my time to go properly next time, I'm gonna go full of love and memories and knowing that I didn't spend every little day worrying about beauty standards and neither should you. How did I go from this? To this. Hey yo, I've got big thighs, but I'm still wearing the shorts because life's too short to be insecure about your body type, check! Every time a woman shows she's comfortable in her own skin, she inspires another woman to be comfortable in hers. I'll accept hate comments any day for this to make sure no girl walks with her head down ever again. Mm, mm, mm. And would you believe she's single? <laughs> now he tryna sign me Y'all I'm a free bitch Handcuffs, leash it Switch my wig Make him feel like he's T-10 Put him on his knees Give him something to believe in Never lost a fight But I'm looking for a beat In the full chain True social media isn't real part 10 Tell me how they got that pretty little face. Tell me you're comfortable with your body hair without telling me that you're comfortable with your body hair. I'll go first. What colour should I dye my hair next? I'm thinking either purple or green. Or maybe red to match my... I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to say Creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you come up I got bitches off the Zans Bitch, I got bitches Mystery, misery, feelings, freedom Feeling through the midnight streets And I've never felt more alone I've decided that the least important thing What's your definition of beauty? Confidence. Like you just have to have that self-love and that confidence because if you're worried about what other people think about you, you ain't gonna never be confident and you ain't gonna never feel beautiful. You just gotta love yourself. Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go These are the things that you should never ever point out on a guy Guys are much more sensitive than you think And when you tease them about these things, it actually hurts Number one, his hair. Most guys are actually extremely insecure about their hair. It's probably the reason they're wearing a hat all the time. Number two, his height. Shut up about his height. He can't change his height. I even know tall guys who are extremely insecure about the fact that they're so tall. Number three, the kind of car that they drive. 
cars are expensive and if you act like his car isn't good enough or it's like a shit box you don't think he's gonna get embarrassed by that his weight it is so hard to gain weight it is so hard to lose weight guys have beauty standards too and you don't think they get insecure about their weight guys rarely get compliments they literally get made fun of more than they get told that they look good so try giving them an actual genuine compliment